Ms. McGowan, you say after the death of your husband, you were trying to find your way, but ended up finding a man on the internet, had sex with him, and two weeks later, you discovered that you're pregnant. Yes, ma'am. Now you claim the defendant, Mr. Martin, is without a doubt the biological father of your eight-month-old baby, Caden. Is yes, that correct? Mr. Martin, you say there's no way you're Caden's biological father, and you claim to have a mile-long list of doubts that will clear your name today in court. Yes, Your Honor. One main reason is that you believe the man she's currently living with, who will join us shortly, is baby Caden's biological father. Yes, Your Honor. So, Ms. McGowan, so you say he's done nothing for the child? Nothing at all. Absolutely nothing? Nothing at all. When I met him online, he misrepresented himself. He told me he was a good man, he was a good father, he was into <laughs> church and everything. Baby Caden is eight months old. Yes, ma'am. Any diapers? Uh, he tricked me over there one time and said he has diapers for the baby, but he didn't have any. <laughs> no, he didn't have any. Mr. Martin? Yes, yes, You've done nothing for the child? No, I did nothing. Why? Because some fact, um, first night we had sex. The first day we met each other, we had sex. And um, the reason why I don't believe it, believe is, is uh, this is my child, because she's very promiscuous. And, and, and when you have sex with a woman, you have sex with a woman the first day, that's red flag anyway. Did you use protection? Oh. Uh, no, uh-uh. Mm -mm. No, uh-uh. <laughs> so if you have sex with a woman on the first day and you don't use protection, you understand that if it's in the window of conception, you might be her child's father, right? No matter how... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No matter how promiscuous she may be. Well, first of all, as um, far as my sperm count, as far as my sperm oh. count, it, it stays low because I have sickle cell and, I, and, and it's, it's hard for me to make a baby anyway. And, and, and when it, and, uh, as far as the sex thing, when the passion goes, it goes. It, 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 it got time to be doing all that. When you in the heat of the moment. Are you suggesting you don't have time to use protection? I'm Your clean. I'm clean. Yo. I'm clean. I trust, I trust that she was clean. It ain't that much trust in the world. Yeah. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. So, well, um, you can do all that. Well, all that. Well, you honor... Um, and not do anything for a child you possibly created? Only reason why, because after the fact we had sex, I went through her phone. When I went through her phone... Yes, I, the first I, night went through my phone. I went through her phone... And I woke up out of sleep. I said, so a man just came over here the other day and gave you sex and sent uh, in the text. But you had just met her. Thank you. Yeah. Thank but you. But I just, I just met her. And the going first through my night, phone. You, you, wait, the first night you're with her, you have sex, mm -hmm. then you looking through her phone. Mm -hmm. You don't use protection. Okay. Because you ain't got time for all that. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. That's ludicrous. Explain to me. If this, in fact, is the sexual encounter you've had, as irresponsible as it is, it's done now. Mm -hmm. After it happens, mm -hmm. and then there's a baby on the way, mm -hmm. I need to understand how you can doubt. Because it was other men's involved. Okay, I'm but wouldn't you then be one of the potential men? Okay, out of one of the potential men, All right. it's others. Okay. So, therefore, I cannot be... I cannot be that one. I cannot. You know what I'm saying? What math are you doing? What math I'm doing? I'm In doing, your mind. I, I, because I, if you are one of the potential mm. fathers, how do you exclude yourself from the number of men that could potentially be her child's father? Because the next day she has sex with another guy. Oh, my God. <laughs> Ms. McGowan, I'm going to go to you. I want to give you. Mr. Martin time Thank to you. process. Yeah, because he's... He's about um, my He's saying there are other men. And you were here, and you're convinced he's the father. Yes, Did you have sex with somebody else the next night after? No, I did not. Not the next night. He got all kind of men in his head. He probably... I went with the male man, the milk man, uh, just in his head. Because <laughs> one minute he nice, and the next minute he not. But he is the father, no doubt. Why are you so convinced? Can you just explain that to me? Yes, because of uh, the conception date. And my son looked exactly like him. Exactly like him. Even Ray Charles can see that. Do you have any proof? Yes, of the I have dates the calendar intimate... of the dates. You do. Yes, I'd like to see that. Jerome, would you hand me her evidence, please? I... 
All right. So you presented a calendar mm-hmm. that outlines the day you were intimate with Mr. Martin. Yes, ma'am. And that's April 2nd. Yes, ma'am. So you're intimate with Mr. Martin on the 2nd. The doctor tells you your conception date is estimated at April 3rd. Were you in a relationship with anybody else at that time? No, ma'am, I was not. Did you have sex with any other men during the window of conception? I did. A couple of days later, I did. A couple days later? Mm -hmm. Okay. Matter of fact, three days. Listen, this is court. I need you to be honest with me. That's why we're here. Okay. It's to get the answers. Okay. So, a couple days later, you had sex with someone else. Yes, ma'am. Would that be a couple days as in April 5th? Yes, ma'am. Okay. How about April 6th? Yes. Same person, though. It was the same person. Would that be Mr. Brody that's in our court? Yes, ma'am. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. So, why are you so convinced it's Mr. Martin's child when you had sex with Mr. Brody so close in proximity to when you had sex with Mr. Martin? Did you use protection with Mr. Brody? No, ma'am. How do you stand here and just point the finger at Mr. Martin? Because... When you know that you were also intimate with another man without using protection a couple days later. Yes, ma'am. Do you have a relationship with the other man, Mr. Brody? Yes, ma'am, I do. I do. What's your relationship? We live together. You do? Mm-hmm. So you live with Mr. Brody? Yes. But you truly believe your child is Mr. Martin? Yes. Wake up, really. But if your child is Mr. Martin's... That would negatively affect your relationship with Mr. Brody. Yes. Yet you're here to prove yes, that your child is Mr. Martin's child. Yes. He don't want Caden to be his son because he don't want to no, take no responsibility for nothing. He got other kids he don't take care of. Well, so I do. He, but I, his sperm count low. But, remember, um, remember he yeah. said his sperm count low? I mean, huh? all my other kids got sickle cell. Where you get that from? Do, do he got sickle cell? Your son does not have sickle cell. Who was for... The hospital, Mr. McGowan. Miss, Mr. Brody. Because you weren't gonna have me come up I there. I called him. He, he didn't, didn't want to he didn't want to do that. You you say you called him? Yes. Did you get that phone call, Mr. Martin? Nah. I texted him, matter of fact. She he texted text me three days later. My baby's in the NICU 12 days. Okay, well. At the hospital. You never visited week? the baby? No. He, I texted him money. before I went to the hospital. He didn't come. It's about money. And Mr. Brody been there for me since day one. He's been dropping off. So money. you said money it, since he didn't show, <laughs> I will take the gentleman I'm with. And let him support me through no, this. He's he just been supporting me from day one since my pregnancy. He's been supporting me. And I had a hard pregnancy, y'all. My baby was born five weeks early. His lungs was not mature. He stayed in NICU for 12 days. He, he was around the corner. He could have walked to the hospital. That's how close he is to the hospital. He did not come. Wow. I think it's time we meet Mr. Brody. Jerome, will you please escort him into the courtroom? Careful going up the step. Mr. Brody, thank you for joining us today. You're welcome. You know, we're here discussing the paternity as it relates to baby Caden. Yes, ma'am. Uh, there's been testimony by Ms. McGowan that you were in a sexual relationship with her during the window of conception. Yes, ma'am. So you could potentially be Caden's biological father. Yes, ma'am. Question to you. Uh-huh. Do you believe you are Caden's biological father? Do you believe you are Caden's biological father? Yes, ma'am. You do? I do. You want to be yes, ma'am. this child's father? Yes, ma'am. Explain. Because I've been there... Man, Tina and I, Miss McGowan and I have been messing around since February. I just pray that he's mine. Mm. I really do. Because when he was born, I, he looked like me. He was a little light-skinned red baby. He had my cow licks and everything. <laughs> <laughs> and I was the first one to see that child in the Nick unit when they took him from his mother when he stopped breathing. I sent her the pictures of him. Mm-hmm. I was there. Mm. When Miss McGowan was going through, uh, she was oh, borderline just uh, diabetes while she was pregnant with him. I took care of Miss McGowan. I washed her clothes. I fed her. Her feet would swell up. I took care of her. 
I, well I made sure she was at her appointment. I took care of Miss McGowan. So did you sign the birth certificate? No, ma'am, because one thing I say is this. Before I signed that birth certificate, his real father, if I'm not his father, his real father should have the opportunity to put his name on there and have his son <laughs> in his name. That's what I'm here for. You have the birth certificate? Yes, Let I me sure see do. that. Jerome, will you hand me that, please? So, this is baby Caden's birth certificate. Yes, ma'am. And there is... No father. N- no father listed. Mm-hmm. And you did that purposefully? Yes, ma'am. Explain. I did that because I wasn't sure who the father was, but I thought I should wait until I find out the truth before I put any father on there. But I think if Marcel is the father, he needs to step up and mm-hmm. take her responsibility. And if he wants anything to do with my son, I think he should put his name on the birth certificate. Well, I did try to step up to the opportunity. No, he at, did. At, <laughs> after the six-week checkup, after his six-week checkup, she called me. She said, I'm finna go to the six-week checkup. I had to come by. She came and spent the night. We had sex. We had sex. Oh, my we God. We had sex. We had sex after that six weeks. Six weeks? She was at my house. Well, after I she came from that apartment, her, she spent the night at my house. Her and was at my house. No, they were not. Oh, trust me. And her six you know, weeks. I guess, and another thing. I took her for her six week checkup. You know, when she got her hair her done? Her and Kate. You know, when she got her hair done and came back home? Because I done it. You, you, roller set, I done that. Oh, you done her that? Her braids, yeah. Well, you doing what? roller set? Man, I took care of this what woman. What he talking about? He don't know nothing. Look, okay. He just sitting here running off his mouth. Show you this. had fun well, look, laying this down out. with Miss McGowan, yeah. but you can't have fun taking care of well, Miss McGowan. Well, let's take this out. That's yeah. the problem. That's right. If I can do it, and you can. Because if he's my son, okay. you better believe I, you, we won't have to hear from you no more. And if he is yours, we still don't have to hear from you because we ain't hear from you now. From you want to hear but from you me. But you running your mouth. That's what the you problem is me, right bro. now. You want to hear from me, bro. Well, you, you better step up or step out. Which one you going to do? I'm if he's yours, you better step, I'm ready to up. step up. That's what I did. You oh got... my God. Let's get some order. Let's chill down a little. Okay. Chill out a little bit. Your Honor. You see his whole conversation about being with me? And That's his focus, soul on me. He cares nothing about... He don't even know my baby middle name. You see me? Right there. Oh. That's me. That's me and Stinker right there. That's Stinker man. He knows... Oh, he's so cute. He knows no one else but him. That's he all know he knows. He is. knows me. I don't know who this is, so he don't know either. Your Honor, this past Father's Day, Memphis, Tennessee, saw it in them to award me with Community Father of the Year Award in Memphis, Tennessee. The mayor was there, city council was there, and state representatives was there. So Caden will not fall short Mm. on a daddy or a father when it comes down to that. That is great to hear. I'm a single father. I have a seven-year-old daughter I've been taking care of since 2009. And when I was told she was pregnant, 41 years old, me, it just blew my mind. And then when I seen him in that Nick unit you know, with those tubes running out of him, that was my baby. He's mine. And I don't, I don't, I don't understand how a man can walk around here and wonder about the mother instead of what's laying in that basket net with them tubes running out of him. He's so worried about Miss McGowan, what she got going on with me. It's not about Miss McGowan and I. It ain't even about him. It's about that little baby right there. It's not about about money, following money. I have about money. But I got all the love, and I can make sure he got a roof over his head and food to eat. Make sure he get his education. That's what I can do. And, well, ultimately, it really is about baby Caden. It is. Most definitely. And that's why we're all here. Yes. And I have the answers you all are seeking. Jerome, Uh, may I have the envelope, please? Please do. And just know, if it is my baby, I'm stepping up to the fullest. Well, do that. I'd be proud of you. And and I hope you don't mind. Can you bring him to the house? Can you bring him to the house to me? Never. You give me some gas money, yeah. <laughs> I got you. I got you. I got you. I you got want the same you. thing I'm on. Do you all want to argue or oh, do man. you want to get the results? I, I got want you. Results. Get the results, okay. man. We get the results. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of McGowan versus Martin, when it comes to eight-month-old Caden McGowan. 
pertaining to whether his biological father is Mr. Martin or Mr. Brody. It has been determined by this court. His biological father is Mr. Martin. <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. Well, now I can get my rights. I can spend time with my baby and teach my baby how to be a carpenter. And Mr. Martin. I just want y'all to bring I, them. I just want to tell you this. You've missed eight months. Just bring them over and I got the gas money. We don't need no more talk. Conversation over. But I, I do thank you for stepping up, buying him all, all this stuff. And I, I told her when, he, when she came over to the house after that six weeks, and I told her, I said, this man done did all this stuff. It got to be his child because it ain't no man in his right mind. Just gonna pick up and just do that. But you did. But you did. What but you did. Men, what kind of men do you know? That's what we I wanna this, know. We see this what are you, Your Honor? No, I'm no, glad no, they no, broke no, no. Hold on, no, hold on. No, but Mr. No, Martin, no, Mr. No, Martin, no, let me inform no, you. No, no, let me inform you. I don't know no man. I've seen plenty of men step up for a child that could not possibly be their biological child. Because they recognize that an innocent child needs that. Mr. Jennings, after raising your daughter Taylor for 26 years, from diapers to adulthood and never doubting paternity of your little girl, you are furious that you had to drag your ex-wife to court because she is now claiming you are not her daughter's biological father. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Lynn, you admit your ex-husband believed he's Taylor's father, but claim your daughter deserves the truth, and the fact is her daddy is not her biological father. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. So, Mr. Jennings, what do you believe is the real reason Ms. Lynn is now saying you aren't the father? Just out of spite, jealousy. Spite? Are you spiteful, Ms. Lynn? What, what no. Is... First and foremost, if I was spiteful, I wouldn't be standing here right now because my daughter asked me to be here. And so as far why? As her being why seen, I why didn't now? tell her his wife told her. What happened? She come to me and asked me if he was her dad because she said her stepmother told her that he was not. Did your stepmother tell you that, Taylor? Uh, I don't think so, no. So that's not true? I, what I remember is they, they were arguing and I remember... Her husband was driving. I remember the exact song, and she would said that he's not my dad. That is what I remember. How old were you then? Um, 12, 13. And Mr. Jennings, you say this is out of spite. When did you come to hear you were not Taylor's uh, biological father? I've heard, heard it over the years, and all Taylor talks to me. I've been there for her all her life that... I don't do a DNA test at any time for her. And you have no doubts all of these years. You say 26 years, this has been your baby girl. You've changed diapers. You've done whatever a father should do, and you love her. You've never had a doubt. I've never had a doubt. You and Mr. Jennings were married at one time. Yes. Tell me about the relationship. We wanted to be together. We wanted to get married. All right, I was very young. My parents did not want us together at all. It was strictly forbidden. I ran away from home to be with him. And the only way we could be together and get married without my parents' signature was I had to be pregnant by Georgia law. So you all, as teenagers, concocted a scheme to be able to get married? In order for us to get married at my age without my parents' signature, I had to be pregnant. So you tried to get pregnant on purpose yes, by Mr. Yes, ma'am, I did. Because you wanted to marry him that yes, bad. Yes, ma'am, I did. And I don't regret it and I'd do it again because my daughter came from that. And that's the best thing that ever happened to me. And so if you say you don't regret it and that's the best thing that ever happened to you, your daughter came of it, why do you question he's your daughter's father? He wasn't the only one I was sleeping with in order for me to get pregnant, to be with him. And he knew this then. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. You all developed a scheme as teenagers to get pregnant so that you can get married, but you slept with more than one guy? Yes, so I to did. to make sure you got pregnant? Yes, I did. I wanted to marry him that badly. This was agreed upon? It was something that he was well aware of. 
I and know. Mr. Jennings, were you aware of this? It. I know nothing about the, um, nobody else, and I'll... So, Mr. Jennings, you submitted a timeline to the court. I want to understand. Yes, I did. This. Please step up and explain this timeline. I want to understand this. We got together. Her parents permitted us being together, so we leave and we go out of state. So I'll you moved to, to Alabama. Back to where I was when I was in kindergarten. The law don't come up there. They know better than come on top of the mountain up there, so there was no chance of getting Oh, you caught. went up on top of the mountain where the law don't come. Yeah. <laughs> There's no... The law will, would not come up there. They've been shot at so many times up there. Make sure I don't go up on that mountain. <laughs> okay, uh, um, so you went up on that mountain because you knew you all would be... You'd be up there. You, you went on up safe. there. Couldn't nobody find us. And I'll... Two teenagers, you all making this up. You all just... This is our plan, to be together. Yeah. Sometime in June, we came back down to Georgia. June the 21st, she was pregnant. We got everything, went to Carrollton Courthouse, got married. February the 14th, Taylor was born. Did you discover she was pregnant in Georgia or did you discover she was pregnant on the mountain? I think we was back in Georgia when we found out. Which do you say, Ms. Lynn? We were in Georgia when I found out I was pregnant. You were in Georgia when you found out you were pregnant. All right, so came back to Georgia, you were pregnant in June 1990. Then you all were able to get married. Yes. So, Ms. Lynn, I mean, from both of your testimony, it, it makes sense. You know, the story is definitely a teenage story, but it makes sense. You all <laughs> planned this, you got pregnant, you were able to get married, and you had the baby. Yes, ma'am. How did the other men get in this? Well, he got did, the dates and, and, and you never knew Mr. Jennings? I never knew that she was messing around with nobody other than me. Did he know you were messing around? Yes, he did. Because Mr. my Jennings, ex before step back him to the podium. is one of the possibilities to be her father. He knows this because they hate each other with a passion. Did the ex know you were trying to get pregnant so you could marry Mr. Jennings? He knew I was trying to get pregnant. He never asked for any of the other details. Of course not. We were in Alabama between February and mid-March. He's got it listed as April and May. That's not true. So, wait, when do you get married? Did you have... It says June 21st. That's correct. Is that true? Do that you have... Anybody correct. have proof of that? Bring up... I do. Jerome, let me see that, please. So, you've presented to the court a marriage certificate. Mm -hmm. Certifies that George Howard Jennings and Brandy Lynn Taylor were united on the 21st day of June 1990. But you said in order to get married, you had to prove you were pregnant. Do you have anything proven? Yes, ma'am, you... I do. All right. And so this is uh, a letter from the health department, and it's to certify that Brandy Taylor was given a pregnancy test on June 13th, 1990, and the results were positive. So... <sighs> if I ain't the father, then the other, t uh, the other two, they ain't neither. It's gonna be somebody else. I mean... Because that's, that's your simple. testimony is that during the time Taylor was conceived, you know you were with Ms. Lynn. Yes. And you know that you were not in Georgia, you were in Alabama. In Alabama. That is your belief. But Ms. Lynn, you testify that these dates are wrong. Right. We were in Georgia when I conceived her, not Alabama. How long did you stay married, first of all? Six years, two months. Six years, two months. All right. And for those entire six years and two months. She believed Mr. Jennings was her biological father. Yes. Mr. Jennings, did you believe she was your biological yeah. child? Ms. Lynn, did you ever tell Mr. Jennings that you had also slept with other men or did you just yes, keep that? Yes, ma'am, and he was well aware because when Taylor was about a month and a half, two months old, one of the potential fathers... Okay. We sat down with him and discussed having a DNA test done then, but it was never done. So he can't say he did not know. Do you remember that conversation, Mr. Jennings? I, yes, but as far as knowing she was trying to um, get pregnant with other people and all, I know nothing about that. If I'd have known she'd been sleeping with anybody else, I might not even have known Taylor because there ain't no way that she's going to sleep with somebody else and get pregnant to marry me. And so when you heard that conversation, what were your thoughts? I mean, at that point, 
this would have been the first time you heard that there was a question as to whether or not you were Taylor's biological father. That's when everything goes downhill. That's when the relationship goes downhill. That's when it in, uh, pretty much ends then. So, Ms. Lynn, did the other guy believe he was Taylor's biological father? His exact words were, he didn't care. And so, at that point, Mr. Jennings says the relationship begins to go downhill. Is that true? No, we had another child after that. You did? Yes. We but have there's... another daughter. But there's no question as to the paternity of that child. Oh, no, she's his or God's. <laughs> And so why, why did it take 26 years to get this answer for Taylor? That I can't answer. I don't <clears throat> know. Because your testimony is that you've been open to get a DNA test from the very beginning because you knew there was more than one possibility. Yes, ma'am. Is Mr. Jennings even a possibility? Yes. Okay. And Taylor, this has always been daddy to you. Yes. This is your daddy. Yes, Your Honor. And so <clears throat> at 13, you heard the words come out of your mother's mouth that Mr. Jennings was not your biological father. Yes. What were you thinking? What was your thought? Like, I felt my, like my whole life was a lie, like it had... My whole life was, like, over, you know? Did you say something? Um, to, to, to my dad and my stepmom, because that's where I was dropped off at. So, of course, they, they comforted me. My aunt was like... I was around when, you, when your mom got pregnant, so he is your dad, my aunt. And so it's like... They, like, comfort me to think, but I'm, like, my whole life's over because if, you know, a man finds out he might not be the dad, he's not going to... Most of the time, he's not going to stay, you know? Oh, and at 13 years old, you said to yourself, oh, I'm going to lose my dad. He's not going to stay because he's not my biological father. Yeah, like, I was going to... Like, my whole life was, like, over, a lie, you know? And these are pictures of you and your dad. Mm -hmm. And so when you got to your family member's house they tried to reassure you, no, 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 this is your father. Yes, Your Honor. And at that moment, did you always have it in the back of your mind or did you just let it go? I've always had it in the back of my mind. Like, that's why I'm here now. <laughs> so, when did you start acting on that notion you had? You couldn't let go of this notion. Um, when I was 23. And what did you do? I asked her, it was Thanksgiving or Christmas, I asked her, because the other guy, I guess, like, looks-wise, looks-wise, it, it's possible, I guess, you know, like... And then so uh, I would asked her, and she didn't tell me anything. She went to her room. And so I said, okay, well, I'm gonna go through her, people I remember as being her childhood friends and see if any of them know who the other possibilities could be. So at the time, I'm living in Tennessee. So I, I go through her, her friends list. I, you know, just, every, like, think of people that were around. Mm -hmm. And the first person I write, I ask him, and he says, it's me. That's his exact words. Really? And then he, he uh, wanted to meet up for dinner. We had, we, I came back to Georgia, met up for dinner. Um, we talked for a while, but then it had a falling out. So now we don't speak at all. So you go on your mom's social media page and start looking through her friends? Yes, our, and also people that I could remember coming around when I was a kid or that I heard about as, as a kid that were, was her friends growing up. And so you're basically on a search and you're saying, I want to find my dad. I want to see who is my biological father. Yes, I want to I see, like, the other, the other part. You know, like, what if this isn't it? What, what is, you know? And... The first person I wrote is what... They, that's what they said. He said, it's me. Yes. Met for dinner. Yes. Did you tell your mom this? Yes. Miss Lynn, you knew all about this when she met up with this other man for dinner? After the fact. After the fact. Yes, ma'am. And the man she reached out to, was she correct? And was he correct? Was he one of the possibilities? Yes. He was? Yes. And do you believe he is Taylor's biological father? I honestly don't know, but she does look like him. There is this only thing, like, with the way we look like, like, we got the same nail shapes, same toe shapes. <laughs> Both got, like, kind of, like, plump lips. We kind of favor. But the other guy, the only thing that I see, really, is that we both got a big forehead <laughs> and that we both have brown eyes. So, Ms. Lynn, you said there were also other possibilities. One other. One other. Did you ever find that possibility as well? Um, I seen a picture on Facebook, but he looks nothing, nothing like me. You didn't feel like that Bl was even... Blonde hair, blue eyes, different kind of nose, longer face, like... No. I mean, nothing. 
then the other one, we had tried to get him to be here, and he didn't want to be here. So, okay, that's why he's not here. <laughs> These results truly mean everything to you today, then. Yes. yes. It's a make or break kind of thing, you know. I understand. I have those results for you, Jerome. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Jennings versus Lynn, when it comes to 26-year-old Taylor Martini, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Jennings, you are not the father. I'm very sorry, Taylor. I know this was not the news you wanted. Taylor, just remember this, baby. It takes more than having a baby to be a parent. He's always been your daddy. He's always gonna be your daddy. Yeah, but if it was if it was right in the first way, we wouldn't even be here. Yeah. Well, you know? Yeah, that's right, baby. Why would you purposely do something that could ruin a life, you know? And it might be like, yeah, I'm your kid, but I'm not his kid now. So it's like, it's like, it doesn't affect just you. It's like you did something selfish, so now I have to suffer the consequences my whole life that I thought I knew is a lie because of selfishness. 